Hello, this is Wiley from Learn to Barbecue. This video is part of our barbecue side series and it is also part of our sous vide series. Might be the best mashed potatoes you ever have. So here it is, sous vide mashed potatoes. If you want to avoid having to peel the potatoes, then I suggest you get the gold Yukon potatoes. We are feeding four people, so we started with a little over two pounds or five medium-sized potatoes. So they will cook evenly, slice the potatoes into quarter-inch wide slices. Here is a better view. When done slicing, I stack the slices like poker chips. In a moment, you'll see why. Now take three cloves of garlic, peel, then smash with a side of your knife. Just be careful. If you want to use a garlic press, you can. Now with the garlic ready, go get one stick of unsalted butter. Get your sous vide bag ready. Now lay the bag down on the table. Grab one potato stack and lay the slices down so they are all flat and all next to each other. You can see it's a lot easier to fill the bag if the potato slices lay flat. They will also cook very even. Now sprinkle the garlic over the top of the slices. Then put the stick of butter right there in the middle of the bag. Also, it's not shown, but add one tablespoon of coarse sea salt or kosher salt. Now vacuum seal the bag and put into the sous vide bath. The potatoes float like a boat, so I weigh them down with a large ceramic bowl. My favorite sous vide circulator is the Jewel from Chef Steps. They did not have a mashed potato recipe, but I used the finger potato recipe. The temperature is 194 degrees Fahrenheit and the cook is for one hour. After it came to temperature, it then asked me to start. One hour after that, it was done. I used a 2.5 quart Corningware casserole dish so I could prepare and also serve from the same dish. Who wants to do dishwashing? This part is not hard, but you have to mash the potatoes by hand. Do not use a blender, a beater, or a mixer, or the potatoes will turn into glue. This is not hard work. When adding the heavy cream, add a little bit at a time until the potatoes are just perfect. Here they are done and ready for tasting. All I can tell you is they were perfect. One big wagging thumbs up. Bon appetit. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Also, we really appreciate your watching.